So, I desperately need more content. So I've decided to start this simple but fun series to fill in the three to six month gap between each video. So welcome to TNJ Reviews. As you've probably seen from the intro card, we're talking about yearbooks. Now, you know, yearbooks are great. You get to look at them and look at all the stuff you'll probably never have. And you know, there are different variations of yearbooks. You obviously got your Legos and your Brio, but you know, Thomas also made yearbooks. Here they are. Oh, the bonus. Here they are. I have three of them. One of them has seen better days. You can see I've hammered this thing as a kid. Let's just start from oldest to youngest, which is starting with this one. Mm, wow. Gratis. That means free in Dutch. So this is a take-along booklet. You can see because it says take-along. Collect all his friends. Thomas's friends. And you know, this is a very simple book. It just shows everything which you could buy at that time, take long related. You have Percy on the cover. For some reason, not Thomas, but you know, I like the difference. I like the variation. So let's open it up. Oh, yeah, it's seen really better. It's seen better days. Already looking at this, this is already really cool. Like everybody who was a fan of Take Along and Thomas and friends in general wanted this. You can see some very uh, unique ones also. For some reason, you can see Bulgy here. You can see Bulgy. Uh, there's the Busy Bee James. Oh, the Chinese dragon, which I never noticed. And of course, the text with Thomas, which is missing. Carryable play sets, smart magnets. Yeah, this is a pretty this is already a pretty cool page also one thing about this page i never understood this paint thing paint station i never found the one with three colors like the red the the one with red and green dead a diamond and dozen you can find them everywhere but the one with blue i can't find that one anywhere maybe it's a prototype or it's just rare weird next page Oh, wait, and there's the corner that we were missing. Oh, fun. You can stay there next to James. Well, the first page. Oh, you can already see these are all prototypes. You can see that because uh, Gordon and Edward have black tender wheels, which is pretty fun. For some reason, I crossed every single one off. I didn't have. I didn't cross off the ones I had. But already, this is a cool page to start on. Like, you have the main characters. Oh, yeah, classic locomotives. Then you have the more obscure ones. Don't get why Annie and Clarabo are here and why Ari and Bert are here. Even Fergus. Why is Fergus some classic? Kind of. And also, why is there one pack character on this page? That's that's quite weird, but overall, pretty cool. Oh. Dennis. Now, off the bat, new locomotives. That's... That's how old this is, when the narrow gauge engines were new characters for take along. You can see Diesel 10. Don't get why Diesel 10 isn't here with Lady, but you know, I digress. Rocky, Neville. For some reason, Coldy is here. Don't get why. Don't know why Coldy was a special thing they had to add to take along, but you know, cool, cool that he exists. Oh, Alfie. That's always fun. But yeah, also, maybe a controversial take. Take long breakdown train is the best one. If you have two, you can connect them correctly. Two flatbeds, two cranes. You can't do that with wooden railway because of the magnets. And you can't do that with uh, truck master because of the hooks. So take long breakdown train is the best one. S tier. Next page. Oh, here are all the play sets. This is such a cool play set. Percy and the, the roller coaster, I guess. I don't think this is the original one because I know there is a version which also had like a an a, an extra circle, like an actual circle of track. Also, Tit of Sheds. These two play sets, for some reason, have the original take along track, which is kind of cool. I also never understood why Salt. Own why there was a wooden railway salty, a prototype image of wooden railway salty next to this crane. Really weird. And the last page, page Coldy and the waterfall. Why Coldy and the waterfall? You know it's cool, but why? Also Fergus and the water tower. That's pretty nice. 
wish more stuff was done with Fergus. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. And also, DVDs! These are actually double packs of DVDs. Like, in the Netherlands, you had two types of DVDs. Single pack DVDs and then two pack DVDs, which had one DVD with two different DVD cases. I can actually show you because I have a few. It's a good example of what I mean. You had these double packs, like you have this one, and this one was a compilation of these two DVDs. That's basically what they did, which is pretty nice. Also, I think the date is on this page. Right here, don't know if you can read that. If I'm correct, it says 2007. Which is pretty nice. Also, Cranky looks really good. Also, why is why is Mavis at Wellsworth? I think about it, a lot of these take along sets and packs are just really weird with characters. I think I already mentioned that. Why is Duck at the Smelter's Yard? What has he done? The Smelter's Yard is the hottest place on Sodor. Yeah, no shit. And also the classic carrying case and track packs fun. So you know, cool, cool yearbook. So let's go to our next victim. Wooden Railway. Let's look at the date first this time. 2009! Right at the end of the, what you could call gold, golden era for most of these toys. If I'm correct, from the Great Discovery era, because you know, Stanley is there. And for some reason, T-Rexes. So let's open it up. Oh wow. Dennis. Off the bat, you can see, again, a lot of these are prototypes. There is no James! Where, where is James? Why are Donald and Douglas with these ones? That's weird. Don't talk about this. Gordon's face looks a bit small, but Henry's looks extruded out. He kind of looks like those cursed Thomas videos. Again, breakdown train. The take along one is better. But yeah, pretty standard page, although... I'm still confused about the layout they chose. I think they could have ordered this better, like all the main characters, maybe in this corner, the narrow gauge in this corner, and like all the random ones like Dennis, Oliver, Byron, the ice delivery cars in the middle. Next page, oh yeah, more prototypes. There is James! Where have you been hiding? What? Oh, battery powered. Look, these are all the battery-powered engines, when they actually looked classic. And look at this supreme photoshopping. Oh yeah, Stanley, great discovery. The only great discovery thing on here, which I like to mention. More random things, Sodo chicken cars, Murdoch, Molly, which is pretty cool. Oh, lights and sounds, pretty cool. Again, supreme photoshopping. Oh wait. There is a typing error. It says Isabella. I'm gonna call her Isabella from now on. Next page. Sets. I actually have two of these. No reason. Just have two of them. This was the end where they also st started toning down, adding extra pieces. Like in this set, you had a cow, a uh, signal box, a top and hat, and a signal. And here, in these two, it's just empty. In this one as well. Which is kind of sad. Next page, whoa. Oh, buildings and destinations. Still a classic, pa classic page of things. The useful engine shed, the engine workshop, the water tower, cranky. The engine sheds, not even Titmuth sheds, but you know, for some reason Henry is with a rolling crane. Why isn't Toby with his windmill? Like you add engines in where they're not going to be here, but not add Toby with his, with his windmill. Like, do you think a two-year-old is gonna read this? No, they can't read. So you have to put Toby there as like a reference, but you know. It was their choice. Oh, that's a long, that's a long time ago. Colin, we never see you again. Oh, Bullstrode! Yeah, baby! Oh, I just realized. They're all sound ones. That will not annoy your parents at all. That the station does look nice, though. It's pretty big. It's not really realistic, but I like the fact that there's an intercom system, so you can like talk into it and be like, Thomas is coming on track one, Gordon is going to kill him. For some reason, UK and Germany exclusive ones. Oh, here's the boring page. The table look looks nice though. And I think this was around the time where they were 
kind of like getting rid of the play tables, which is kind of sad. Also, the useless carrying case. This one is almost exactly the same, like the take along one. Look, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, track, track, rises, rises. It's a top man and lady hat. That's cool. You can reverse them around. One side is road, one side is road. We all know the shtick. One thing that is weird, Fearless Freddy Pack. This is just getting rid of storage. Like, I think it's the same thing with uh, this, with Rosie, Sol Rosie and Stepney. Not really salty because it's a pirate set, but with S Stepney and Rosie, definitely. It's just they had a lot of stock of these specific engines, probably ex especially Fearless Freddy. And I, they decided like, oh yeah, we need a track pack. Throw Fearless Freddy in there, we'll get rid of them. Which is sad, but also kind of funny. And now for the last page in this booklet, the interactive engines. Which is for some reason also only a UK and Germany specific. Die sprechende, sprechende Hülschienen Serie. How fun. So, everybody talks. And that's the only shtick. Wait, does this mean they have... Oh, they have German lines? Now I have to get some of these. I want German talking James. I'm gonna get a German talking James. Trust me, one day you'll see a review on German talking James. Where are Henry and Gordon? Where are Henry and Gordon? Why only Edward? Why only Edward? And why Rosie? And why Spencer? Like, I get Emily. I get all the other ones. It makes sense. But why Rosie and Spencer? Really weird. Cranky. Oh, it's oh, it's not even cranky talking. It's fat, the fat controller talking. That's boring. Well, that was one row. Eh? Off to the last one. Okay, so I was gone for a bit. That's why there are different clothes. But you know, let's go get on to the next one. Take and play. So yeah, this is from 2012 collector's poster. So yeah, it's based on the CGI era. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Dennis. Oh yeah, yeah, I can already see what I did. Oh no, a bit is missing. Well, let's look at it in sections and then the entire thing. So basically, it said here, uh, put an X on every single one you have. And because I didn't know the difference between take and play and take along, and because in, sometimes they used take along images, I just crossed off every single one I had. Like Thomas, Percy, Gordon, you know, the regular shtick. They sectioned this by size of character, like these are big engines, these are middle engines, and these are small engines. Don't know why there is a storybook car in a cargo car pack, but you know, I digress. And the two packs, for some reason there is a, a dead steam engine, a scrap engine, and a Toby and Flora DC pack. Don't know what DC stands for, but you know, three packs are missing, whatever else was there. Uh, oh here. Yeah. Bell and Flynn, some biographies on Thomas, Bell and Flynn. Oh, the, these are two play sets. Engine lift repair for some reason with Stanley. And so the rest, search and rescue, obviously with Flynn. But this, it, I can already see these two sets are shit. Oh, also a badly almost drawn in diagram of Percy. Oh, I never noticed. There's a diagram about what's everything called in Dutch. Oh, you're supposed to name it. Oh, that's boring. Oh, the rest is missing. Nice large print of s uh, old CGI Thomas. Fisher Price, we don't talk about you. And more of Thomas. And instead of to showing toys, they show us a bag, a puzzle, and a tent. How fun. So if you could just give me a sec, I'll pull back the camera a bit. Here you can see everything in detail. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot to this. There was more to these. Oh, sorry, that's the mic cable. There was more to these than this one. This is just a small pamphlet. These were cool though. I really like these. God damn it. Although the ordering of this one was kind of weird and so was it with this one. Ignoring the delectable state that this one is in. They're a fun time to just scroll through, especially as a kid, just to see everything you could have. And it's just fun. These ones actually have value. This is just a collector's sheet. But yeah, we've looked at all three of them. What can I say? 
These two are the best, obviously, because they're older. Oh, they have the exact same Thomas drawing as the top part. And this one is kind of mid, but it's pretty simple, so that's why. But if you thought it ended here, it doesn't. I have one more. The bonus you saw at the beginning. It's, it's a falling apart, very old Playroll book. So this Playroll book came with a lot I bought a while ago. That was in a time where I just didn't record everything I got, which was pretty stupid. I could have had so much content. The lot came with this set. It came with everything except that little bus. I'm so sad about that. But yeah, there's no Thomas stuff in there. It's just cool to look at. Partially see what an old Tommy layout looked like. And actually, without the Thomas stuff, it actually looks semi-professional. It actually looks pretty good. Next page. I don't know why, but like classic Tommy sets with just bullet trains, they just look cool. I, al I always prefer Thomas because, you know, he's my main guy. But and these are cool as well. I really want this one. But you know, I can, I, I just can't find it. But it would be really cool to have. And apparently you can't buy this in France or in Belgium. How fun. Some static bullet trains. Back in the day when they just also advertised like actual cars. Like taxis, fire engine, ambulance. Pretty standard stuff. The Tommy Express, this one would be so cool to have. Because I, it, it looks kind of tacky, but that makes it kind of nostalgic and cool. Oh, uh, all the all the pieces. You can technically see these are all just reused for Thomas sets as well. Like this, this, this like tunnel came with a lot of uh, Thomas sets as well. This this was just recolored to be, I think, Wellsworth. That tunnel as well. This bridge section was also recolored. These two were just used in every single Thomas set. Like this stuff, you won't find this stuff with the Thomas line. Just, just, just leave it. Look, that's just cool to look at. And the final page, at least the final page I have, everything that revolves around that one steam engine, like you would have that set, and if you were to buy this track pack, you could make it big. Yeah, it was, it's, it's really cool. I don't know why. So that's it. That's the end of the review. Uh, I hope this is something you guys like. And if you want to see more of this or want me to review a specific item or something that relates to a specific term, leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time. I just realized James is staring at me, has been staring at me this entire time.